All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Ravenfield. Oh my gosh, I think I might have one of the best maps to show you, and definitely the best World War II map ever. Oh my god, I wish I could operate this. Please tell me I can operate this. Please. No, I want to operate it. Look at that thing. If that thing was going, ba 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 ba, it would shoot down every plane there was. What is that? I don't know what that is. Never seen that before in my life. Let's get in this Corsair. So, this is, once we get in it, this is an F4U Corsair. It's still got the guns like a regular plane in Ravenfield, but it looks like an F4U Corsair. So the next steps would obviously be to, you know, put in all of the 50 caliber machine guns that it would have, unless it was the F4U1C, I think, which had like 20 millimeter cannons or something like that. Look at all the little Zodiacs. But anyway, so we've got a World War II style carrier, a World War style II. It looks like a battleship, could be a big cruiser. It looks like we've got a Zero, the Japanese plane from World War II, on our six o'clock here. But look at this map. This is the Battle of the Pacific, number two, by El Papa. It's got nine custom vehicles in it. Let's check this out. Well, we had a little bit of lag there, so it looks like, is this? Now, the funny thing is, is they didn't have that style of lifts back in the day. They didn't have these big, like, modern container ship style things. But you know what? It's still pretty impressive. And the map can be worked on in the future. Is that... What is that plane? Hold on. Before we go... I want to see... I want to get a little flyby. It looks like a freaking glider. That is a glider right there, and that is a Japanese-style tank, so we're we're passing over the Japanese infantry there on the ground right here. We've got a B-17 bomber, an American heavy bomber on the airfield right now, and it looks like we've got some Sherman tanks and some Willys Jeeps. All custom-made. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everyone's shooting at the air, and it makes me wonder if they were shooting at someone that was on my 6 o'clock. We also have a P-51 Mustang. And look in the back, there's a crashed, it looks like a, a heavy Japanese bomber. Uh, I used to know these G4Ms, it looks like a G8 maybe? I don't know, was it Mitsubishi that made them? Man, I used to know all of these things from my time. Ooh, I wish I could put my landing gear up. I wonder if we'd fly faster. If I press G, it doesn't do anything just yet, but I don't, uh, yeah, I guess like right now we're not at that level. And then we've got the Japanese carrier. And the Japanese battleship over there. This is amazing, El Papa. El Papa is me, Papa. Oh my god, guys. The battleship is moving. I've got... It looks like rockets... They, what the heck is happening? Oh, wait. They, those, are, those are rockets, not bombs. They got AA guns. But they're not able to hit me. Guys, the battleship guns are working. The battleship is... When he said he had custom models, um, he named the USS Iowa as one of them. USS Iowa's battleship. Was that a submarine? No, that's just my shadow. I'm scared of my own shadow. Choo choo. Choo 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 choo. Airstrike! What's up, guys? What you gonna do about it? So the battleships are working. This is actually more like Battlefield 1942. That is a Corsair, not a Zero. I should not run into him either. So let's wing up. Let's jam the ailerons. So there we go. Weow! Weow! The ailerons are basically the little flaps on the wings, but is anyone using this battleship? This is amazing. That battleship is massive. All right, so let's check out, let's slow down time and check out the map. So it looks like, oh, there are two capture points in the port. I'm gonna go down there and go on foot. So we are going to take a play out of the Japanese playbook here and go, oh, oh, it, it, it kind of, Parachute! Alright, are there ladders or are we stuck in this bay? I think we might be stuck in this bay. We're trying to get up to the surface here. <gasps> Come on, where's the... Where's the... Where's the... <gasps> there it is. Alright, so there's the battleship right over there. We're gonna swim to shore real quick. B-17 looks like it's going on a bombing run. On the battleship. Oh, man! It didn't look like he dropped any bombs. It looked like he swooped up, but someone's operating that. So this is either the Tokyo Maru kind of style ship. This almost looks like, or what did the the Americans call theirs? Like the Liberty ships, right? And we just, and we could produce like one of those things a week or one every three days or something crazy like that, or maybe even a few a day. I don't even know. But I tell you what, American ingenuity. Look at that! 
B-17 crashes right into the Iowa, and you can see it's big. It's got six big guns on the front, and you've got kind of cruiser caliber uh, size guns as like secondaries right there and right there. And then, so it's got nine total battleship style guns. And I think that like everyone's like, oh, the Yamato had bigger guns, but the Iowa was better. I think it was due to the reload rate of the Iowa like it could reload much much faster here we go let's let's go ahead and capture this flag here our team's got four the Japanese only have two but look at this map we've got this port facility here this is really really nice it it, it does remind you of what kind of like happened in the Battle of the Pacific what was that who fired at and I've got a Colt 1911 sounds great fires quick then I've got the BAR, the Browning Automatic Rifle. I wonder, did it did it not fire faster than that? I guess it was firing 30 out 6, which I've used to go deer hunting with. Like this is that's a big round. And then I've got a bazooka here. That sounds beautiful. I just made contact with a battleship. Can you imagine a battleship getting close enough to shore where like a bunch of American soldiers? Hey, look at this! Okay, check this out. So now we have the M4A2 Sherman. I think it's A2, which is the Marines version. And it's not an M4A1 or else this would be more rounded. I think it's more angular. The uh, the upper glacis. Man, it's been a while since I've had to learn tank terminology. Look at these Jeeps. Here, let me help you guys since you're dumb. Yo, oh wait. I'm not in the driver's seat. All right, wait, maybe, maybe if you stop. Maybe if you stop. Yeah, yeah, maybe if you, maybe if you don't do that. But I want, I want to get in this Sherman. Hold on. No, 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 no! Yes! He got out of it right when I wanted to get in it. So, do we have a coaxial mounted machine gun? No, we can't use the machine gun. It's just... Getting the, uh, hey brother. Hey brother. Hey brother. You're called up to action, son. Whoa, watch out for getting run over by your friends if you catch my meaning. Get in here and let's see you fire this gun. No, no, no. You're supposed to get in the tank. Someone needs to get in the freaking tank. Maybe there's not a seat. Okay, that would make sense. There must not be a seat, otherwise he would have automatically got in it. But imagine a battleship gets close enough to shore. I don't know if they'd work out very well, but like, and then all of a sudden just like 30 tanks just start unloading on the battleship. That's the kind of stuff I would love to see in a game. The stuff that you don't see in other games and like you didn't see in history, but it, you're like, I was always curious about like what would happen in those situations, I want a game that can do that. Wouldn't that be pretty dope? I think that would be awesome. All right, so we're gonna take this Sherman here. We see some Japanese soldiers. Ooh, that one, that would mean a direct contact. We are down and out. Let's get on out of there and watch this puppy just, oh, blow up. Better um, damage models or uh, yeah, damage models and kind of like destructive uh, animations would be really cool in Ravenfield. Once again, the fact that Ravenfield is being made by one dude is pretty impressive. Ooh, this is nice. Two hits with the BAR, and it, it knocks these guys out, so it does, what, 50 damage? Oh, poor guy, man. Rest in pepperoni, sir. All right, I'm gonna go explore this facility a little more, but it really does make you wonder. Like, I think, I think a lot of more interesting scenarios could happen if uh, Ravenfield was multiplayer. I wonder... Like, a, a really good, like, Battlefield 1942 never had bots, did it? Right? I don't think so. Oh, what's that poor guy doing out there? Sir! Sorry, Adam. But you had to go. There can only be one of us here. Only one leader. Alright, let's, let's go to the map. And that's the battle plan. It looks like there's still this one area. The AI doesn't seem to want to explore other areas and, and take it. Let's get... I'm gonna try to do an amphibious invasion, so I'm gonna spawn on their carrier. I don't know where the battleship is, it's, it's off the map, and I'm not sure if that's the way it's supposed to be, or what. So let's go ahead and deploy back on the carrier. We're gonna get a squad of boys, of good men. I just need a few good men. Yeah, the, the battleship seems like... Son, you've been called up for a great purpose. Now, there is a way. I know in the past I've said, oh, I wish Ravenfield would have something where, like, only one team could use certain vehicles. Well, there is that. All right, so all the Zodiacs are down there. How do I get to that? I guess I could just jump. That seems a little silly, though. Are these my guys? All right, so we're, we're floating to the surface. Now I'm going to get in one of the Zodiacs. 
Alright, now, will my guys- <laughs> They're jumping off! Look at that! Oh, he wants to get in the boat so bad! <laughs> he almost sank the ship! But he got in, look, he's like, I'm here, boss! He actually took off, I think, some of the health of this thing. Oh my god. These guys are sinking it. Alright, get in, we need, we need one more brave soldier, I think. There he is, he's swimming up right now. And there we go, alright, so now we're gonna- We're gonna take the scenic route here. And we're gonna try to amphibiously invade. So obviously we need different boats. Um, we could have used the LCVPs, which are landing craft, vehicle, personnel, I think, or people, something like that. I guess we did land Zodiacs here, on this beach, but we're gonna sail around. So, it's almost, that mountain over there kind of looks like this could be, was it Iwo Jima? Or Okinawa, I think it was, oh, Iwo Jima. Where that could be like built into this really, really intricate, uh, network of bunkers that the Japanese used. So there's some weird stuff going on with the shadows over here, but we're navigating through this little narrow ravine here. Alright boys, we're getting closer. We've got a, a very difficult mission. The battleship is right over there. Let's check, let's check the map. We're not there yet. Alright, so, there is a flag on the other side here. Oh god, it's being protected. We're taking, we're taking, Oh! Dang, son! That was an excellent shot. Alright, we're gonna spawn over here on the airfield. But yeah, it, it doesn't show on the map, or the map isn't centered, I don't think, but that could be an easy fix. I think, I hope El Papa's gonna update this map, because this is impressive, right? So here we go, can we go inside of this little hangar? Or is it just for show right now? It almost looks like it's just for show, that's a very, very big water tower. Yeah, I think, I think that, ooh, big old jeep, I don't think we can get into any of these little barracks. These definitely look like barracks. I'm trying to think. Oh, by the way, guys. I'm going to be going, um, to the Fallout 76 event. I'm gonna be able to get to play Fallout 76 early. I want you to go check out my Instagram, Baron Vaughn Games. B-A-R-O-N-V-O-N-G-A-M-E-S. You could probably see it here, or maybe at the beginning of the video where I showed it off. Also, link is in the video description. I, uh, like, I can't wait to share with you guys the experiences I'm gonna have. I'm obviously gonna put the footage up here on YouTube, but all the other stuff, I'm gonna be showing on Instagram and Twitter, obviously. So, Twitter is Baron Vaughn Games with a Z, because it's the old one. And then we've got, uh, Instagram with Baron Vaughn Games, just like it's spelled here. So this is a Japanese tank, and that's a P-51 Mustang. Did that guy trip? It looked like he almost tripped. Whoa, we got a little bit of lag here. So this is the Japanese tank versus the American Sherman. Now the Japanese were not renowned for having very good tanks. Most of their tanks were pretty garbage, but if you think about where they were fighting, Mainland, they were fighting in China, and then, um, they were fighting on islands, so they most- they- they never really thought that they really needed. I mean, they probably- they're like, well, we only got so many materials, we might as well big build ships. Hey, stop shooting me! Uh, where's my main gun? I don't know why I couldn't fire again. Maybe it's a very, very long reload rate. Alright, so let's check out- what if we spawn over by the crashed Japanese bomber? Look at this! Oh, man. One of the Japanese bombers has, like, big cannons on the back, I think. Or was that the Russian one? No, I think the, the Japanese one had it, too. So, like, this would actually be, like, a rear gunner spot where to have machine guns. And someone would sit in this bubble and just go, at incoming planes. And obviously, they'd be firing faster. But, man, I tell you what. That's the kind of stuff that, like, I've always wanted in a game. And I, I just haven't seen it in a game where you could... Whoa. It seemed like we had a little bit of low gravity right there. Hold on, is this- is this altering gravity? Look at that. That was weird. Or did we just fly a little bit? We definitely jumped higher than we would have normally... ...if we jumped somewhere else. I don't know! Maybe- maybe it's just the amount of air time. I don't know, something seems weird. Maybe there's a moon rock around here. Or something from like, Fortnite or whatever. But, I gotta say, so the nine custom vehicles, we've seen the F4U Corsair. We've seen the Jeep and the Sherman. I haven't showed off the Iowa, the Zero, or the Type 97. I think the Type 97, I think that's the Type 97. I know that the Type, the, the Japanese use Type this and Type that, or maybe it's just the US naming. Um, but I think there was a Type 97, like, gun for the Japanese as well as the tank. So it's a little bit confusing. Ooh, look at these big aircraft hangars. Wait a minute! 
This guy is using the anti-aircraft gun. I just didn't go around to the right side to check it. All right, let's 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 mess with this. Oh, I mess with this. All right, so I think there we go. Oh my god, yes! Oh, look at the B-17 doing a carpet bomb. We need we need to try that. We'll probably have to reset the map and then or wait till the B-17 dies. Oh my gosh, these poor these poor Japanese infantry. Look at look at how many rounds I have. Oh, look at the P-51 taking off. It's not I'm not being a traitor. I'm just trying to show off the other vehicles. Look at how much that thing takes. Is that thing spinning out of commission yet? There we go. I feel like a bad person. You are a bad person. Oh my gosh, I'm almost dead. I am dead. Look at that. That's karma. Instant karma at his finest. All right, so we're going to spawn back on the airfield because the B-17 is going to respawn and I am going to grab it. Oh, yes. Where is it? Where is that big beauty? The flying fortress. It is a literal flying fortress. All right, Sherman tank coming in. As long as it doesn't run me over or run into the B-17, I'm okay. There's the P-51. I think it spawns over on the other side of the airfield. So the P-51 is beautiful looking. But that's not what I'm after. I like how the P-51 is on the airfield, and the Corsair, which is a Navy plane, um, is taken off from the aircraft carrier. Alright, take to the skies and bring us justice. The Queen's justice. Alright, I'm desperately looking for the B-17. I cannot find it. I want to be able to modify the range at which these guys fire. Like, you, you can only be a certain distance away. Because they fire way too far. Oh! I thought that Sherman was going to run that guy over. There's the P-51 again. I think I might just have to restart. Alright, so here are the World War II collection weapons. We've also got something called Legacy Animations and then World War II Collection. So let's go. Since we're going to be American again, I, I want to use an American gun. And I'm thinking the Thompson is just like as American as you can get. We're going to hop right out, try to get one of the Corsairs real quick so that we can fly over and grab the B-17. It looks like... Was that just me moving, or was the battleship- Oh, guys, get off the plane! Get off the plane! Oh my god, I just, like, snapped. Alright, so we're looking for the B-17. Oh god. Where is it? Oh, that's like a glider! They start there because it's a glider. I think we've got to take a certain flag, and then we've got to... And then it'll spawn in, maybe? Ooh! Oh, that, that was a very short-lived, uh, battle. Eagle captured crashed bomber. Oh, oh no, it's on the- it's on the field. There it is, the B-17 is right there. I've got two seconds to spawn in, I gotta get there. I gotta get there, I gotta get there, I gotta get there. Nobody better touch that B-17 or you will meet my Thompson submachine gun! We got a few infantrymen coming on the other side. I do think I may want- Oh, are you kidding me?! That was perfect dive bomb! Oh my god. Okay, I've got to restart. I will not be able to get the B-17. That was the best dive bomb run. It was to perfection. All right, so I'm going to spawn. Instead of on the carrier, I'm going to spawn over here. And I'm going to I'm gonna make a run with my soldiers here. Now, I've got a Thompson, so not the best. Wait, can I not get in that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't run me over. Don't run me over. All right. Uh, we're, I guess we're just going on foot. Look at that thing getting some air and running over two of my men. Oh, my God. He ran over four of them. Luckily, they're okay. All right. Keep the covering fire going. Suppressive fire! Suppressive fire! Oh, we might have to bazooka that. I wonder if I can hit it. Ooh, that was a little high. Just a little bit, though. Ooh, yeah, another miss. All right, boys. We got to take the airfield before they do. This is our mission. Because once... I like how once you take the airfield, then the vehicles become available. All right. We're... We should... All right. We just took... They, we took Crash Bomber, which is the one over there. They're doing a good job here. Oh, God. All right, I'm gonna throw some medicine because the vehicle should pop up since we just took this one. Right? Oh, there, there, there was a lag spike. Oh, that guy better not. Is he gonna take it? All right, I'm gonna grab these guys. Come on, boys. All right, I got the B-17. It looks like there are a number of spots. Oh, shoot. I'm not going to be able to land this again. Oh, whoa, we're wobbling. We're wobbling going on the eight. Come on, take off. Okay, all right. Let's go on a bombing mission. I have 52 bombs. Look at this. 
Oh my god, this poor Japanese battleship. B-17 Flying Fortress. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh yes! I think all my bombs missed. Yes, they did. Because they're moving. Alright. Oh my god, I'm getting- I'm just getting wham-shackled. I don't even know that's a word, but... I, I feel like that's exactly what's happening to me. Oh my god, I didn't see the water! Well, let's see if I can respawn over here. And get the B-17 again? I don't know how fast it spawns. That sucks. The watercolor, it'd be cool. It looked like the sky to me. It was very difficult. Oh my gosh, this, this area is crazy. Alright, so we've got these really, really awesome anti-aircraft guns. We haven't checked out the P-51 Mustang, nor have we checked out the Zero or the battleships. But I'm thinking there's just so much content on this map. All right, what do we got? We've got... I've got rockets. I've got rockets and machine guns here. Can I take... Hold on. I'm gonna try to take the battleship. I don't think that's possible. And it's not even on the map, but let's do it. Oh my god! Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? I killed driver. Hopefully he's the driver of the battleship. I'm stuck. All right, since it's a vehicle and not, like, terrain... Oh my god, I see the dude! <laughs> All right, so clearly like this is some uh in the process like beta testing type stuff. Uh, did I just sink the carrier? I think I I think I just I mean not the carrier obviously the battleship. I think I might have done it. I think I broke the game. All right guys, so here we go. We're going to see the map from above. We're going in a spectator mode. Like I I don't often do this, but this map is so good. It is so good that I want to show it off. Like look at this. These, this battleship is amazing. I'm not sure how vehicles work right now, but basically, I know, like, from what I understand in game development, one of the difficult things is if you have vehicles, especially big vehicles like ships, imagine, like, this could be a Star Destroyer, too. Like, this is just a vehicle. It's the same thing, functionally, as that Zodiac. It's not its own entity that can be moving. You'll notice that the carrier never moves, right? Because it's not a vehicle, it's a stationary thing. This is an actual vehicle. Here's the carrier, which is just a stationary object. The two things are totally different, and as a result, you interact with them. That's why when I landed on the battleship, I couldn't just run around. And I don't think that's El Papa's thing. I think that's a Ravenfield thing. And I'm curious if that will ever change in the future. Or if we'll ever have a game that is, you know, basically my dream come true. Or if I'll just have to make it myself, I don't know. But, wouldn't it be cool if you could, like, take the battle, like, you could, you could land here and take the transport and, like, sail it over to your fleet. Or just put, like, men up on the sides of it with guns and just, like, just start shooting everybody. Look at this, this is funny. We've got an American Jeep, an American Sherman, and then an American Type 97 tank rolling up here. And they just took the lighthouse in force. See, this is where I wish, like... Since Ravenfield is going the bot way, I almost wish I could make it a battle similar. So this is a ja I guess this would be a Japanese glider? I'm not sure, but it seems to make sense that the Japanese sent a glider of troops. They start with this flag taken already. That's their uh, land force. Now, the American force spawns over here. And there's a couple Zodiac boats. So this scenario is like, okay, well the Americans landed here amphibiously. And so they're taking it. So they obviously go over here. They take this, uh the heavy Japanese bomber that was crashed. So it makes you think that this, I wonder if it was midway, then it was held by the Americans and the Japanese, then retaken by the Americans kind of thing. Whoa, what's going on with that? Did you see that? There's some weird stuff going on right here. There's something weird going on with it. I have no idea what's going on, but this is an amazing, amazing map. Here's the battleship, which is a vehicle. Oh, Corsair is wingtip in the water. He barely got out of that. There's a little lone Japanese dude. I wish this thing would just be a vehicle and moving around and crawling. Crawling with soldiers and all these things would be where like any aircraft guns and smaller guns would be if all of them could be fired, but I don't know. Maybe that's just like past what the game could process and what the game could do. I don't know. Yeah, like, like, like all of these. Like all these, that'd be awesome if they could be manned. It'd be really tough. And here's the Japanese Zero. So, oh my god, this is gorgeous. The Zeros were so maneuverable in the early part of the war. That Corsair just went through the water. Is he still flying? No, he's he's done. 
And this is a, a destroyed anti-aircraft installation, I think. That's what it looks like. So if you guys want to see me play from the Japanese side, and you want to see me play as the battleship, you want to see this map again, let me know in the comments below. If you want more Ravenfield, you know what to do. And obviously, please check out Baron Vaughn Games' Instagram, because next week, we're going to see some Fallout 76 stuff. So I get to go to an event for Fallout 76. It's going to be awesome. I can only share with you guys a little bit of info right now. Obviously, information's coming later. You know, it'll be on Twitter, Instagram, and then the gameplay will be here on the channel. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is Battle of the Pacific number two by El Papa. And uh, there's also an Arasaka rifle, which we didn't show off because I didn't play as Japanese. And that was made by Republic of Insanity. Nine custom models, a really, really cool map. This has got to be one of the best and one of the most detailed as far as the things you focus on. There's the battleship firing at the other battleship. We need to have battleship wars in the next one. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.